extrapolate from what you're seeing the information you need to do the work that will take you where you want to go. It's writing in English. Now, that's, that's deadly no. How, you, what, how easy is this to reach? Terrible. Can you reach it? Mm, okay, here we are. The same way that we talked about going around two rails before, if we go, to, go around two rails here and come out here, we're going to have an angle to win. So this is high left English. You're going to come around two rails, Jeremy. Okay. I may have a little too steep an angle for you there. You know? <laughs> I can make you run into these other balls. I can make myself look good. <laughs> No, no, no. At this angle, you're going to have to have some low because you're going to move through this ball at the angle that you're at. You're going to move through it and then over into the four. It has to back up before it takes yeah, a little bit of lower right hand draw. Yeah, that's better. That's better. That's better. Just use right hand English. Yeah, a little bit of top right. Okay, that's not bad. Let me set this next thing up right here. Okay, once you got that done, we're going to need some more balls. You set up the total squares and I'm going to set these up you can set these up so you go back and forth with I if you put odds and evens you'll go back and forth you know if you put all the I can put in numerical order you'll stay on one side so I'm just going to put up anything here because it doesn't matter where these go everyone's going to present a new challenge okay And you just run them. Where'd the 14 ball come from? I must have thought it was the 10. Okay, that's okay. We use the 14. Just run them. Just using top English on this. Okay. He's running, he's where he's got to go into the three. How about if you shoot the cue into that rail? <laughs> you got to think ahead. You have to think ahead. If you don't have a plan, you're going to have a hard time dealing with people that do have a plan. You've got to think three balls ahead. You do these exercises enough and you will inherently begin to realize which side of the next ball, the correct side of the next ball, you need to fall on to make yourself a winner. He's done it again. He's done it again. This is certainly harder, but he learned. Now he's got an angle on the three. I mean on the two to get an angle on the three. And the more balls that disappear, the easier this becomes, sports fans. Draw right English. Oops. Whoops. All right. <laughs> Let's see. This is very difficult. For the first time somebody's seen this, it's very difficult. No English. I mean, just a little high. That's too hard. That's too hard. However, I can draw straight back and I can be all right. Now I'm in trouble. <laughs> Now I'm in trouble. I'm stuck shooting left-handed, bending over the table. But I 
escaped. <laughs> I escaped. Here I am at this angle. I don't want to try and hold the ball over here. I want to use the pool table. This is just a quarter tip of high. I want to use the whole table. You use that second rail. The guy that's trying to hold that ball up, he's in real trouble. This is a little low left. Myself a nice angle that I can reach. Now, I don't want to come over here where I can hit the 14 or the 9. I'm going to come this way just a little. I'm going to hit this rail over here. I gave myself a little too much angle. Hitting this rail maximizes my margin of error. Low right. Now I'm exactly where I need to be to take what they've got. Woo! I almost messed it up. I hit it as bad as I could and still make it go, sports fans. Let's let him give it one more little whirl here. It doesn't matter where they go. You can put them up in a regimented numerical order to learn the nuances that are existent in these patterns. When you have done that, set them up in any order, but then conquer the pattern that you've set up. If you've got questions, I'm at 1-800-898-7665. I will help you. It's only $32 for the first minute. <laughs> no, you guys know better than that. <laughs> And sixty-four dollars for every minute after that. <laughs> Call one nine 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 Birdo. There he is, though. Ouch. He's dead. One more try, young man. Right. Let's we'll see if we can get the final form of this up. I don't know if I've got enough time. I think we're out of time. You might have to see the final and hardest form of the short game. At the beginning of the middle game. It's too much information for one tape. One more try. You can do this. Don't rush. It's no good. You've got to have it. It's no good. You don't want to be straight. You can like it's okay, but you want to have an angle so you can just roll out. Go ahead. Not bad, not bad. Just a little draw. Tell them what you're doing. Just drawing it up a little bit off the rail. If you can get to the rail, use the rail. By all means, perfect. Perfect. He's going to go ahead and do this. This isn't bad. This isn't bad. Just a little bit of lower left hand damage. Woo, baby. <laughs> Smokey Joe. <laughs> Draw this one off to the rail. Go ahead. Go ahead. Once you can draw to the rail, you can go ahead and hit it. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Just put a little bit of low on it. And a little and bit of low locked. is what he had on it. <laughs> Well, uh, here, hang on a second. Hang on a second. <laughs> the technicians are all screaming at me. Everybody says I've used up my hour. I haven't gotten to the hardest form of this yet. I really want to thank Jeremy. He did real good. You know, to wave at everybody. <laughs> For you bachelorettes out there, what's the number? No. <laughs> I just kid. I'm out of time. In the middle game, I'm going to show you the last form of this. And putting it all together, I'm going to try and show you more of all of it. But from what you've seen here, you know what you've got to do to go ahead and become the pool player that you want to be. 
Mastering the short game will take you farther than you can believe it will. For some of you, this won't present a whole lot of challenge. If it doesn't, add a fourth ball on all of these turns. But even the way it is, it's you're doing it. The only thing we have that can successfully teach you how to play pool are successful repetitions of things that you have to know how to do. You stick with this and you will start to inherently understand how to stay on the right side of the next ball. Thank you very much.